Hey friend, and welcome to Perfect Periods, the place where we discuss how to navigate different periods of life while perfecting our actual periods. What? Like it's hard? I'm your host, fertility awareness educator, Barry on Barry, but you can call me Barry. Here, you'll learn how to master your cycle so you can truly master your life. Now grab your favorite beverage and maybe a notebook and let's dive right on in. If you are a woman who absolutely loves personal development and you kind of like to learn from people very similar to you, but still a few steps ahead, this video is for you. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you eight of the most important lessons I've learned over the last 28 years. And I'm going to share with you my number one wish for 29. In case you're new here, my name is Barry. I'm a fertility awareness educator and the creator of Optimize Your Flow. Basically, I love anything to do with femininity and personal development, but my zone of genius is teaching people how to really align their lives with their menstrual cycle. I have been able to study different modalities. I love combining Western medicine with Eastern philosophies and so much of that in between. But with that being said, you know, I I was thinking about what I wanted to pour into people this week. And I really was thinking maybe I'll share 28 lessons I've learned. And then it occurred to me that like, that's a lot of lessons. And as I started writing them down, really only eight seemed to matter. Now these are in no particular order, but like just kind of how I wrote them down. So the first lesson I have learned is that energy speaks before you ever will. I think that a lot of us have heard this time and time again, but you know, it's true. And I am somebody who loves to have light, fun, and fresh energy. And when I walk into a room more often than not, people are like, I love your energy. And for me, that is like one of the best compliments because It says who I am before I ever even introduce myself or speak. And I think that the way that you carry yourself and the energy that you have says so much about you. The way that maybe you um, approach adversity, like the energy you approach it with, right? Is this going to be an obstacle? Is this going to be an opportunity? It just says a lot. And so I've learned that your energy will speak far more than you ever will, especially if you open your mouth to speak. The second lesson I've learned is that it is okay to stand alone and to stand firm. I'm going to be honest, okay? There is such a great need for individuality in our society that is backed by morals and ethics. And what I found is people are so quick to kind of stand with hive mentality because they're afraid to stand alone. Newsflash, stand alone, stand firm, and stand strong. For me personally, that is how I've achieved so much in a short amount of time in terms of opportunities. There are things that I never imagined I would do, but my gift made room for me because of the stance that I took, because of the approach. And I just really hope that you find something that you want to stand for and stand firm within. And if that means you're standing alone, just know that is 100% okay. The third lesson is to evolve or to remain. You know, I am somebody that does like, you know, old school, vintage, retro, traditional things, but I also think that there's a place and a time for the tradition, and then there's a place and a time for evolution. And I am somebody who As I said, I love personal development, but I thirst for it because I constantly want to evolve to be the best version of myself, to operate out of excellence, to operate with love and compassion and respect. And I believe in order to truly operate in that magnitude, you have to evolve because if you don't, you'll stay the same. And I mean, we... (laughs) 
We know the definition of insanity, but I'll say this. In order to get something you've never had, you truly have to do something you've never done. And so I I would have to say the next lesson I've learned is to just evolve. The next lesson after that would be that everything is a decision. Everything is a choice. No matter what has been presented, everything truly is a decision and a choice. And I'm not going to lie. It kind of feels as if certain things are not because of the mainstream narrative and different things like that. But no, everything is a choice. And again, when you're okay standing alone and standing firm, you're good. You really are good. But like, I think that our perception is really important. And for me, I have perceived everything as this opportunity. I have had a lot of odds stacked against me my entire life, but most people would never know that because of how I choose, right, to carry myself, how I choose to view those obstacles really as opportunity, really as this way to build character. And so I I think lesson number four, I think we're at number four, is that everything is a decision. Lesson number five, hmm, is that less is more. Do less, God bless. Listen, I think a lot of times people feel as if they have to do the most in order to be seen, in order to get noticed. Really, it's not about doing the most. It's about doing almost less so that your gift, again, can make room for you. And the reason I'm saying this is because what I do for work A lot of it um, teeters between being a fertility awareness educator, but also being a content creator or an influencer for lack of better words. So there's always this need to do the most. But what I choose to do is actually what I'm best at. I choose to stay in my lane and I choose to stand firm in what I'm doing. It's not about all of the weapons in the toolkit. It's about being lethal with the weapons that you have. And sometimes less is more. Like I want you to imagine someone wearing like a tool belt, right? Like I want you to imagine Tim, the tool man, Taylor, if you know, you know, right. But like sometimes there was a few tools in the belt and sometimes there was like a lot. Sometimes there's only one, right? but he always knew how to solve a problem with whatever tools he had available. And I think that when you're able to perceive that less is more, you stop looking at everything you don't have and you start looking at everything you do have and you say, how can I master what I do have? How can I be of the highest service with what I do have? And I I wish more people had that like, you know, perspective, if you will. It's a perspective shift for sure, but less is truly more. And I remember um, listening to a podcast, it's called Black Bank and Booked Out by D.L. Sharon. And she said, there's blessings in the basics. And I was like, and I 100% agree. There's so many blessings in the basics and in simplicity. Like simplicity is so beautiful. Simplicity is strong. And it's like when you have that simple foundation, you can build because that simple foundation is strong. So less is more. I know that was a lot to say, but still. The sixth lesson I'd learned, initially I was going to say devotion over discipline, but that's a whole different video. The sixth lesson I've really learned is that your gift will make room for you. I've said that time and time again, but you know, in a society that values, how do I say this? Homogeny. Um, in a society that really like wants everyone to move and be a certain way. It's important to have your gift and to allow your gift to make room for you. Time and time again, I stand by that. Your gift will put you in places you never imagined. I remember when I first started teaching cycle syncing, within three months, I was on the Gold Digger podcast with Jenna Kutcher. I was featured in the Every every Girl And then from there, my gift has just made more and more room for me. And those are just a few examples, but your gift will make room for you. My seventh 
thing is that excellence is okay. We live in a society where like people just will do like the bare minimum and that's okay. But if you're somebody who likes to operate at a high level and operate out of excellence, I want you to know that that's okay. Like if you don't succumb to mediocrity, more power to you. Excellence is actually okay. There's a difference between perfectionism and excellence, just so that we're clear, but excellence and having a standard and operating at that is actually okay. Now, my eighth lesson that I have learned is that there is more to femininity than we realize, or femininity takes on so many different forms. I was the girl that always thought that femininity meant I had to wear a lot of dresses and I had to be super soft and like my power was like not, I wasn't able to be there. Like I very much so used to have this idea of the damsel in distress associated with femininity. But as I've gotten older and stepped into my femininity more and studied it more, wow, it really does take so many incredible forms. And I'm just so grateful that I have learned that over the past few years. Now, with that being said, I want to share my wish for 29. And my wish for 29 is very simple. Show me how good it can get. And that is literally it. I think it's just so important that we get to see how good life can be and really just welcome it in. So I hope this video has been supportive to you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you do, leave me a comment and let me know what lesson you love the most or lesson you've learned. As always, I'm sending you big love and flowy vibes, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey friend, if you enjoyed today's episode, can you do me a solid and leave a rating and review? And if you have some friends going through a different period of life where they want a little bit more peace, or perhaps they just want a better period, make sure you share this with them. Because here, we're all about having a period and a life, an enjoyable one at that. As always, I'm seeing big love and flowy vibes. Oh, 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 oh,